Now then, YouTube, welcome back to Sheffield United career mode. When this slow ass Xbox eventually loads up, we are at Anfield today against Liverpool. Liverpool third, we're 12th. Last couple of results, we've been doing a little bit better. Last couple of games, 3 0 winning against Burnley, 1 1 draw against Hackford. Uh, against Leeds, sorry. Hackford scoring both uh, today. I was supposed to be completing the month of um, December in the last recording session, but it got cut short. Um, so I'm going to do two mini recording sessions this week instead of one big one. And this one is going to be us actually finishing the month of December with Leeds already done, Burnley and West Ham already done. We've got away against Liverpool, home against Newcastle, away against Wolves. <sighs> okay. Here's the team for the game at Liverpool. That's their team. Pretty good team. Um... Everyone is fully fit. Besides so John Joe Shelby and Jaden Bogle. So B uh, Baldock can come in. And we'll put Fleck on. On also. I'm going to leave McBurney on. For this game. I feel like he he's, his experience, his height. Will increase our chance of scoring with his hold up play. Hackford's been great. I'm not denying that. What I am denying him is the age and experience to come and play at a place such as old um, good old Anfield and they said Old Trafford never would Anfield and Liverpool play in such a shithole anyway former Liverpool player Loris Carrier has come in to face his former se team today as is Nathaniel Phillips so let's see how we do this is not going to be easy turn up that game will a tad let me just actually Yep. There we go. We are sorted. John Fleck in for John Joe. That's nice. Fabinho hit one well blocked by Nat Phillips. Henderson to Jota. What a save from Loris Carrius. <sighs> we got battered against Manchester City. 4 5 nil and. This is another place where you'd expect something similar to happen. Try his best to limit it. Maybe even get a couple of goals on the counter. Like we could now, but Phillips' touch was god awful. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Great start to the recorded session today. Uh, this The active profile has been signed out. Please sign in to King Grim 99. What? What? It's me! Signing in! Well, th thank you! Fucking hell! Sorry about that, YouTube. We will eventually be back when this shit house of a game decides to load up. Thank you! We're in! And we're 1 0 down. Diogo Jota, thanks to a catalogue of errors at the back. Passed it back. Carrius cleared it. Well, they see it. Fabinho. So we'll knock that back. Carrius just completely misses it. Good pressing from Mane and Jota can tap it into an empty net. And we're instantly one down and should have really done better than that. We should know that Liverpool are going to press us ridiculously high. For example, Salah there who's broke Conor Gallagher's legs. Oh, I did ask for that to be pulled back but the get oh Fabinho, he does that so well. It's a ball. Well done, Carrius. Ball dog. It's a nice bit of play. Fuck it, going to hit this with ball dog, and that is shambolic. And rightly so, a yellow card for Mohamed Salah, because he absolutely took out John Fleck's ball to uh, Conor Gallagher. Conor Gallagher turned and passed, and Salah clearly didn't expect it. Honest tackle. It's a, it's a Liverpool thing to do. High pressing, try and win the ball. Boy, oh, it's a stonewall yellow. I don't care how honest that ta foul was. But I know there was no intent meant, but it's not the point. It's a fucking clear yellow card. Perez, don't know who this guy is. Well done, John Fleck. Saliba. See Hamburger making the run in the middle. Here's Brewster. Nice. 
Bulldog. Gallagher's making the run. Gallagher, it's a good save. Gallagher. Go for fuck's sake! Well, what a good oh, the odd sign of promise, though. Bit of pressing forwards there. Decent strike away. Henderson with a stunning ball. Oswald with a really good tackle. And Salah knew not to fucking dive in then. He's already booked. Osborne. McBurney. Fucking hell. What a tackle. Tell you what, though, this shot her over to Marnie. Felix does well. We defended okay. It was just one bit of stupidity from myself, to be honest with you. Trying to pass that out into that gap that clearly wasn't there. McBurney. Nice bit of play from McBurney. So, just wide from Ben Osborne. Could have easily tried to instigate a bit of contact there with that tackle. But Ben Osborne just started off inside the post. But then instead of out to in, into out and out for a goal kick. But chances are being created against a good Liverpool side. We aren't, we aren't out of the game yet. It's still very much game on. Virgil van Dijk, it's just what he does. I fucking, not only is he a bastard to get past at the back, he can just ping crossfield passes like that from an instant it's defence to attack. That's why Liverpool, oh, what a fantastic defending from John Egan. Really good from Salah. Really good from Saliba against Salah. Trent's ball in Phillips. Liverpool know how much of a threat he is. Well done. Keep it in, please. It's a tad over hit, but we'll take it. Ball in Gallagher. Go on, Berger. Marnie's there at the back. Oh, well done. Well done, John Fleck. Brewster just started running. I thought we were going to run into the gap, not away from it. Virgil just. <sighs> I fucking hate playing against this man. Then again, I think every attacker in the league hates playing against this man. And that's going to be a yellow card for Hamburger. Might have got away with it because it's half time. I imagine he booked him on the half time whistle. We'll have a look. Sander Hamburger. Got away with one there. But we're only 1-0 down. It's not out of this yet. We're losing. And this is most annoying because it should really be 0-0. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oliver McBurney, weak and team. He's not done too much either to impress me. So I think it'll be Lee Moussey coming on soon. Really well done, John Egan. Phillips. Fleck. Who did really well last year. In a cup game against Liverpool. Or was it this season? I can't remember. That's a penalty. I saw him coming to dive in. A yellow card there for Facundo Perez. Oli McBurn is equalised at Anfield. I saw him coming to make the side tackle. So I was going to cross it in. But as soon as I saw him coming in, and he, he started to slide. So I quickly stopped the slide tackle. thought, let's take another touch. I hope he slides far enough. And Oli McBurney puts it in. It's not the best route in the world. It's not exactly where I aimed it, but it's in the back of the net. And that is where I aimed it. 1-1. One, one. A couple of them. Um, I mean, I know Liverpool are very good pressers of the ball. That was a bit, a bit, a bit too erratic today. Hamburger. Got again there. Look at the tackle that they tried to slide tackle there. Now what can they do from here? Gallagher. Ben Osborne's shot. <sighs> There's gaps forming. And I'll tell you what, Liverpool are here for the taking. That's why Klopp's making a couple of subs. Wiz and Bignetta's on. Perez is off. And on comes Mikel Marino. They made a couple of signs as well, haven't they? Marnie's just so good at that. He's navigator for Liverpool. Phillips. Keeping Marnie over there. That's it. Same with Hamburger. There we go. Nice kick from Carrius. Oh, well done. Smarter to make the tackle. Oh, not quite. Maybe if that was Lee Moussey, he got a chance with the pace, but it was the wrong 
which when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really the wrong option there. They need to play with far more ben Osborne so game. well against Salah, but then he's given it straight to Marino. With some Bignetta, but cleared Bulldog. Oh, and Robertson's there. I thought it was going to be Brewster, but Robertson snuck in from that left-hand side. Phillips, Benyeda, Hamburger as well. Here's Bulldog. He laid it by Egan. See that first time. Paul Van Dijk got a chance to get his telescopic long leg in. Ben Osborne does well. Wrong player. That's meant to be a cross into the box. Oh my! This is what that's called. That was meant to be a cross into the box. No, you can't score from this. No, because that was a no. Thank you, thank God. That is fucking justice. There, seventy fourth minute. We're going to get some subs on. Bulldog and Osborne are fucked. We're going to bring on Low and Bogle. And we're going to bring off John Fleck and bring on John Joe Shelby. Hopefully he can belt in a 25-yarder winner. That'd be nice. A struggle for Mohamed Salah to make his presence felt today, Stuart. Well, it's not been a great performance from him today. Salah, fuck me. He's pressing high against Saliba. Not having it, Carrius. It's a good clearance. Oh, it's a fucking good header, though, from Liverpool. Reno Fabinho. With him, Ben Yedder, fantastically saved by Boris Carrius. <sighs> Take a draw at Anfield, I'll tell you what, I certainly fucking will. Bogle and Ian come short. They still take it short, Liverpool, and that's what they get. Good block from Jaden Bogle, makes himself big and strong and tall, preventing the cross from getting in. But we have got another corner to deal with. Ring Gallagher short this time to deal with it. And he does. Two short corners, two chances, both wasted for Liverpool. And Gallagher's got us all the way over the halfway line. All the way into the final third. I need someone to go all the way into the box, please. Ollie McBurney, I see you there. Brewster, Ollie McBurney. <sighs> fuck. Hand it off, for fuck's sake. Look at them, they're like fucking swarm of locusts. I tell you what, it's realistic how they play, though, because they play like this in real life. They are a fucking swarm of locusts. McBurney should have put us ahead. Fortunately, Max Lowe means that they definitely aren't going to put us ahead. But that touch was of an absolute... Well, I don't think that's suitable to say. Max Lowe, ball over to McBurney. As soon as I saw Van Dyke coming, I thought, yeah, we're not going to bother because he will catch up with McBurney like he's not even there. Maybe I could have tried to bulldoze my way through, but against Van Dyke, it's probably a lost cause. That's nice from Max Lowe. Salah has found a gap to strike. It's well saved, it's cleared. By Carrius. And there's Virgil van Dijk. Look, Shelby. McBurney, I tell you what, he's took a delightful turn. Oh, McBurney. Brewster. It's the 90th minute winner at Anfield. <laughs> and that is what we want. And yet again, it's a prime example of our away performances. Don't even want to touch around Bruce, I'm not right. I know where I'm putting you. I know that I trust you finishing. Bang. And he's absolutely planted it past Allison. Just again. <laughs> Liverpool and Brewster's got another goal, by the way. Brewster and Hackford yet again. And to be fair, McBurney got a goal today from the penalty scrap. Uh, granted, but a goal's a goal. So I chose, I made a big decision to put McBurney and Brewster in the side. And well, my big decision paid off because we won at Anfield. And again, that's just it. Home against shit teams, losing. His home record's truly awful. <laughs> but away from home, got a win at Anfield. Incredible performance that only boosted up the table. We've got two more games to come in this recorded session. Up next, a home game. What's probably going to be a loss. Can win at Anfield, but we'll probably lose at home. <laughs> to fucking Newcastle. But we're 11th. Two places behind Chelsea. Risk of losing a player, that is... David McGoldrick, as we know, I want to fucking lose him. So that's fine. Okay. Um, get through. So yeah, the next episode, I shall see you. A very realistic bit of um, play from fucking FIFA yet again. We will be playing on Christmas Day at home against Newcastle. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Right. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next episode for Newcastle. 
get in there. Big three points away at Anfield is what we want. Hopefully three more points next episode. Take care. See you next episode for that. Bye-bye.